hello team i am shivam and uh, so in today's session i am going to tell you how to boot your vm or any machine that don't have a bios support to boot from usb so in my case i have a vm and uh, this vm don't have a capability to boot from usb it's having a capability to boot from iso so i am going to show you how to boot this vm from USB okay so basically this is my VM so I want I will be power on so I'm going to power on to BIOS my 16 GB USB it's a SanDisk USB is attached to my laptop okay so it's uh, basically uh, coming to the BIOS in the boot setting my first drive is the removable device so it's a USB that is not recognized by the hardware and uh, okay let me put the second is the CD-ROM okay third is the hard drive so this setting I need to do I say exit yeah save now so it is showing me this interface why it's showing me this interface because In the setting in the DVD I choose an ISO image so it's a ISO image of a PLP BT it's a software that's uh, available on the network so if you search uh, open your any browser and search for the PLP BT so it's a plop boot manager it's basically give you the ISO that ISO is nothing but a program so it's like your OS is booting from that ISO and that ISO will read your pen drive to boot your system I will show you how okay so I am choosing this ISO and say okay so now when I boot my program this skin will come it's just uh, giving me the option how you want to boot your system I say I want to boot my system from USB okay let me do a big screen I say USB it's uh, basically searching for the USB and saying uh, boot error no auto device found please retry it okay so I insert my pen drive now and I say enter USB okay so it's uh, find a pen drive at my machine and in that pen drive this pen drive is a bootable pen drive so it's uh, take ok it's a system drive so this uh, pen drive having a two clonjula clonjula live I say this one and the rest is uh, completely so guys my VM where don't have the support of to boot from USB but using the plop boot manager that's a PLPBT I'm able to boot my machine so I give a ISO in the VMware and that ISO basically is reading my pen drive and this way I'm able to boot my machine from the pen drive indirectly so this is the session that I want to explain today thank you okay let me close the session